Oh, good evening, good evening, good evening. I got a good one for you today. Baby, I have a good one for you today. The power of black music. Listen, tell me if you know this one. Oh, yes. I do not own the rights to this music. We groove into it, but I do not own the rights to this music. Y'all hear that? Ooh. What's going on, Trent? What's going on, Esnam? Hey! Hey! Yeah! Y'all don't know nothing about this. Kenneth Hammond, don't play and act like you know nothing about this. Don't act like you know nothing about this. Rhonda, what's up, miss? Ha, ha, ha. Yes. Obata, what's going on? Baby, I'm feeling good this evening. I'm feeling good this evening. Woo! Come on, OJ. Hey. Hey. Ha, <laughs> ha. Yes. Yes. I love music. Hey, just as long. Hey, yeah. I'm cutting up back. Yes. Listen, when you start talking about music and my people, when I tell you it takes me to another level, I go to a whole nother zone. So y'all better jump on in here with me. Hey. That a sweet love song. Hey. When you got the girl that you love in your arms. Hey. Baby, listen. The power of black music. Come on, somebody. Come on, somebody. What's going on? What's going on? What's going on? Y'all better stay with me. Aaron, what's up, baby? Wendy, what's going on? Yes. Woo. I love music, baby. I love black music. I love black people who make music. I love black creation. I love black culture that produces the context for black music. Hey, God. I love that we're able to create music in the midst of despair. s and I'm going to get started. I'm going I'm to really, ooh. I love that black people have been able to make music out of literally the means of their very bondage. Come on, somebody. Come on, somebody. Ooh. Ruetta, you better get with me. My God. Charlotte, what's going on, Charlotte? Hey. What's happening? What's happening? What's up, Mama Janice? Hey. 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 I love, I love, I love, I love. Hey. Ooh. My people are bad people. Did you hear me? My people are bad people. My people are a bad people. The ability to create something like this, of this magnitude, that will transform the heart and the soul while being denied the right to vote. Maybe somebody's going to really get me tonight while being denied the right to vote, the right to go to school, to create music like this while being shot down in the streets. You don't know who you're dealing with. America, you don't know who you're dealing with, and you don't know who you captured and brought here. My God. Dr. George Ann Thomas, what's going on, great one? Hey! Hey! Sherald and Bray, what's up, baby? Alan Bradley, what's going on, brother? Hey! Listen, I'm just giving y'all a little taste of black music before I start talking about it. Huh? Yes, the power of black music. The power of black music. The power of black music. The beauty 
Come on, somebody. The beauty of a people's ability. Oh, God almighty. The beauty of a people's ability to make music in the midst of despair. Huh? I can't hear nobody. I can't hear nobody. I can't hear nobody. Who in the world could make music in the middle of despair? Who can do that? Who can do yeah, that? We're just talking best black music, baby. Best to Come on, Wendy. Yes, Pastor. Yes. Sometimes you got to fight the power. Listen. Woo! Huh? Come on, public enemy. Yes. Teaching us what it means to do social protest in music. Teaching us what it means to be black and in the inner city but to have a voice and to say what you mean and to speak up for yourself, even when people think they're muting your voice. Oh, no, 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 no. We have something to say and we're going to say it. Hey, fight the power that be. Hey. Hey. Fight the power. Am I talking good? Come on. Hey, Darnell Gooch, what's going on, baby? That's my that's my homeboy. That's my that's my man in Memphis. Ooh, yes. <laughs> Pastor says I'm moonwalking and I'm robot. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Hey, yes, yes, yes. What does it mean? What does it mean to fight the power? What does it mean to fight the power? What does it mean to fight the power, huh? What what exactly does that mean? Let me see if y'all know what this song is. Oh, this used to be my hit. Hey! Come on. You supposed to know what this is. Hey. Tosha, don't play with me tonight. I got something for you tonight. Baby, I got something for you tonight. Yes, ma'am. Hey. What? Oh, close to the edge. What does it mean to live close to the edge? A marginalized people could tell you what it means to live close to the edge. Come on, y'all. Yes. Yes. Cause I'm close to the edge. I'm trying not to lose my head. <laughs> it's like a jungle sometimes. It makes me wonder how I keep from going under. Listen, what? Life in America is like a jungle sometimes. And it is a wonder that we have kept from going under. What? What? Oh, somebody's going to get a blessing in just a minute. Somebody's going to really get it. Somebody's going to really get it. Somebody's really going to get that. Somebody's going to get that in just one minute. Life has been like a jungle sometimes. It is a wonder. What? It's a wonder that we have kept from going under. I'm going to give you one more for right now. You better know what this is. Hey! You know my soul, if I can wonder. 
Come on, somebody. What? Woo! Come on, somebody. How I made it all up. Hey. Hey. You know my soul look back and wonder. Hey. You don't know nothing about this. Listen. Baby, this thing winds me up. Woo! Hey, the man who bled and suffered. Hey! Woo! Pansy, come on in here. Come on in here, Anthony Black. Pick it up. Pick it up. Hey, yeah, 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 yeah. Listen, listen, you better let me stop this. Let me tell you something. When you start dealing with music and black people, listen to me very carefully. I'm not even going to hold back tonight. You better call all your friends, call all your friends and family, because I'm telling you, I'm going, I'm going plumb out into the water tonight. When you start talking about black people and music, when you start talking about the ways we've created melody, the ways we have absolutely introduced new cadences, the ways we have kept rhythm, huh? the ways we have marked time in a society whose very aim was our destruction, you're talking about something magical, something marvelous, something unreachable, something untouchable, something immeasurable. Black people's ability to do music in the midst of madness is really so genius. It's so genius that the world has yet, not only just to catch up with us, the world has yet to even conceive what we've really done. Huh? The world has yet to conceive really the magnitude of what Black people have done. It is absolutely supernatural to sing how I made it over as I'm trying to make it over. We're singing the past and the future all simultaneously. What? To sing trouble in my way while I'm in the midst of trouble is about a people trying to talk to trouble. I can't hear nobody. I can't hear nobody. It's about a people's ability, a people's ability to turn trouble, to turn trouble into a very being and literally Build a relationship with trouble to know where trouble is, to know how to get trouble out of our way. I'm talking good. To know how to make trouble sit down, to know how to make trouble behave. Am I talking good? And I don't just mean gospel. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. I do not just mean gospel. Marvin Gaye saying what's going on while we were right in the middle of Vietnam. Am I talking good to somebody? Stevie Wonder came along. And tried to check the way we treated black women. Tried to check the way we've dishonored our mothers. And said, isn't she lovely? Ooh, God almighty. The music is the, the music is calling us to character. I can't hear nobody. Black music is asking us not to be afraid of character. Not to be afraid of excellence. Black music all over the ages. From the time that we started in Africa playing the djembes to this very hour. Black music. Come on, some. Black music is trying to remind us to remember. To say, black people, the world cannot have your spirit. Hey, God. Black music is saying, black people, the world cannot have your power. The world cannot have your essence. The world cannot have the center of your being. The world cannot have your life force if you remember who you is and where you came from. See, when people get all out in the world, listen, Gladys Knight in the pits came along and said, midnight train to Georgia. Somebody doesn't really understand what that song is saying. Somebody was way out in California. There's way out in New York, and they couldn't find themselves. They couldn't get it together. But an old grandmother back home was praying for them. And what they knew is, if, if I could just get down home, if I could just get down home, and what they did was they took a, a midnight rank train, because it was a cheap one. They took a midnight train to Georgia. Why? To get reconnected to the roots. Listen, I'm about to get, I'm, I'm about to really, I'm going, okay. All right, all right, all right, all right. Ooh, listen, my God, my God, my God. Black music, the beauty, the power of black music, why black people do music, what music in fact has done for us, ah, what music has done for the entire world, the entire world. Listen, 
Prince is unequaled. Can I hear somebody? Michael Jackson is unequaled. Huh? You're not going to sing like Aretha. Somebody black will. Woo. Huh? Patti LaBelle. I can't hear nobody. I can't hear nobody. The Commodores. I can't hear nobody. Listen, I'm going to call the roll in a minute. I'm going to call in the roll. But even before then, when we were in the field doing field hollers, when we were doing ring shouts, right? All we were doing was getting our cadence back. All we were doing was getting our tempo back in order in a new land, in the middle of a beast. All we were doing was calling our tempo back up. All we were doing was doing was getting in the middle of this time construct here in America. Why? So that we could know what survival felt like here, so that we could understand what it means to live in this place, so that we can literally counter somebody's zero image of us. Woo! God Almighty, God Almighty, help me this evening. Somebody help me. Somebody help me. Somebody help me. Somebody help me. God Almighty, somebody help me. Listen, here's what I want us to do for our libation. For our libation, I want you to name a group, a person, a musical entity that made a difference in your life. A musical entity that made a difference in your life. Life and I'm gonna pour the libation to that person, that group, that choir that doesn't make, make the, the rap group doesn't matter. Make, make. Somebody who really moved and touched your life. Ah, Wendy says Marvin Gaye, Isley Brothers, absolutely. Earth, Wind, and Fire, absolutely. Y'all trying to conjure me up? Listen, Minnie Ripperton, you don't know nothing about her. Come on, somebody. Yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. Come on, somebody. Yes. Yes, Whitney Houston, absolutely. Nina Simone, absolutely. The Mighty Voices of Power, come on, somebody. The Sugar Hill Gang, come on. Erica Badu, come on. Baby, we call them the, hey! Joe Stu, yes, sir. Uh-huh, Jill Scott. Baby, y'all going. Florida Mass, baby, we rolling tonight. Soul to Soul, huh? Bootsy Collins, you don't know about Bootsy Collins. Rosetta Tharp, come on. Bob Marley, come on. Chuck Brown and the Soul Searchers. Come on. Uh huh. A tribe called Quest. Come on. James Cleveland. OJs. Michelle Indege Ocello. Come on, somebody. Sam Cooke. Tina Turner. Michael Jackson. Come on, somebody. Ebony Majestics. Shaka Khan. The Temptations. Mahalia. George Clinton. Georgia Mass. I can't say them fast enough. Come on. Ha 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 ha. Yeah, 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 yeah. Bob Marley. Julie, Julia. Hey, what's going on, cuz? Robin Brown, yes, yes, yes. Arrested Development, Lauren Hill. Come on, Aretha Franklin, Charles Fold, and the Folds. You don't know nothing about. Don't play with me with that Charles Fold. Miriam McKeever, absolutely. Phyllis Hyman, absolutely. Sarah Vaughn, absolutely. Dixie Hummingbirds, absolutely. Mickey Guyton, absolutely. Parliament, absolutely. Huh? 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 Fela Kuti, absolutely. Luther Vandross, absolutely. Mint Condition, absolutely. Andre Crouch, absolutely. New Jersey Mass Choir, absolutely. Patty LaBelle, most deaf. Come on, somebody. Come on, come on, come on, come on. The New Jersey Mass Choir, you don't know nothing about them. Come on, come on. Billie Holiday, come on, somebody. Hugh Masekela, uh, come on. Nancy Wilson, come on. Ha, 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 ha. Woo! You got to know your minstrels. You have to know the people who are singing your soul salvation. Biggie Smalls, Billie Holiday, uh-huh. I'm going to talk about this music in one minute. Somebody's going to have to get really get with me. Mississippi Mass, the O'Neill Twins. Come on, somebody. Ma'am, I'm going to talk about the O'Neill Twins. Most people have never heard of the O'Neill Twins. Ruetta, you got some points right there. You got some points. You got some points. Come on, Bessie Smith. Come on. Uh-huh. Woo, Lady Blacksmith, come on, come on. Eartha Kitt, come on. People sleep on Eartha Kitt. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Heavy D, absolutely, absolutely. Donna Summers, absolutely. Tupac Shakur, absolutely. War, absolutely. Thundercat, absolutely, absolutely. Maurice White, absolutely. Lee Williams, absolutely. Milton Brunson and the Thompson. You don't know about them Tommies, Trent Bailey. Don't play with me. The Barrett sisters. You, come on, somebody. Blind Willie Johnson, come on, come on. The Temptations, come on, come on, come on. The Pointer Sisters, come on. Nancy Wilson, come on, baby. We talking good tonight. This is La Bay Shun. Come on, come on, baby. We're calling the road. We're, we're going all the way in tonight. The Platters, come on, come on, come on. Jennifer Hudson, uh-huh, and Jennifer Holiday. Sly and the Family Stone, you don't know nothing about that. Come on, come on. My Matthew Franklin, don't play with me. Don't play with me, homeboy. Love you, love you, man. Love you, Matt. Dinah Washington, oh, 
God. To leave quietly, come on. Uh-huh. Aesop, come on. Aesop was a bad choir. You better believe it. You better believe it. Loose ends, come on. Uh-huh. Beyonce, come on. Uh-huh. Bob Marley, uh-huh. God, Leontine Price. I can't hear nobody. For what? Leontine Price. Some, huh? Baby, sing you, un, sing you into the ground. Listen, Miles Davis, uh-huh, Tony Brax, uh-huh, the Clark sisters. Come on, come on, come on, somebody. Absolutely, 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 absolutely. And there are so many, we couldn't name them all. We couldn't name them all. W.C. Handy, absolutely. Regina Bell, absolutely. Callie Day, Callie Day is something to not play with. Brooke Renton, Ashe, Betty Davis, list Ashe, Ashe, y'all, amazing. Marion Anderson. Yolanda Adams, Diana Ross, Steel Puss, Monk, uh-huh, Thelonious. Come on, somebody. Hey, Paul Robeson, that's right. Barry White, B.B. King. <laughs> Baby, we are calling the roll on this evening. That thing ain't nothing but good. The Supreme, Sade. Hey, Betty Boop. Well, uh-huh, you got to know who Betty Boop is. Listen, uh-huh, uh-huh, Al Green. Uh-huh, most people sleep on Al Green. Al Green used to croon, baby. Duke Ellington, come on. <laughs> Josephine Baker. Liz Wright. Come on, somebody. Stevie Wonder. Yes, 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 yes. Yes, 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 yes. Maybe we talk Win Marcellus. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Maybe we could go all night long. We could go all night long because we've been birthing saviors since we arrived. And that's what a musician is. Hey, an artist to an oppressed people is called a savior. Let me get these proverbs. Let me get these proverbs. Let me get these proverbs. Donnie Hathaway, you can't leave him out. Let me get these proverbs, y'all. Stay with me. Proverbs about music. Mm -hmm. Proverbs about music. Proverbs about music and the power of music. Then I'm going to talk to us. I'm going to walk you through the development of black music. Ooh, listen, y'all better press share. Somebody press share for a minute. Just press share if you don't mind. Press share and get this word out. Come on, somebody. Oh, Tony McNeil, I'm talking good. I know I'm talking good. What's up, brother Tony? Love you, man. And thank you for the unbelievable work, Tony, that you've done to save our people. We love you. We love you. We love you. Here is our first proverb. Proverbs about music. First proverb. Hope is grief's best music. What? Hope is grief's best music. That ain't nothing but a joy. That ain't nothing but a joy. That thing will get you right. That thing will get you right. Ain't that beautiful? Is that beautiful to somebody? Ooh. God Almighty. God Almighty. God Almighty. God Almighty. God Almighty. Yes. Next proverb. Next proverb. Next proverb. Do not expect fine music from a broken instrument. Baby, you better walk into the field of metaphors and get the full meaning of that. You cannot get excellent music from a broken instrument. Some, and that does not necessarily mean a guitar, a piano, a, 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 mm -mm, mm -mm, a horn, right? If you're broken, if you are broken, the music you produce is not doing healing. You've got to sing. You've got to play your own healing. Mm. You've got to play your own healing in order to produce music that heals the rest of us. It doesn't mean we can't be wounded. We are wounded. We will be wounded. But listen, the whole point of music is to heal and to deliver. Am I talking good? It's to heal and to deliver. Is that beautiful? Ooh, God Almighty. God Almighty. God Almighty. Lutalo, Lutalo, Lutalo. Here's the next one, y'all. Here's the next one. Those who can't dance say the music is bad. <laughs> Those who can't dance say something's wrong with the music. They say, mm, I don't think the music is really being played right. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But this proverb is deeper than you think. Because in the African world, Tony, Tony Menil helped me out here. In the African world, the dance and the music go together. And if a person cannot polyrhythmically co-join those two genres, those two aesthetic streams, one is outside of an African tradition. I'm talking to, I'm talking real, real good right now. Uh-huh. And when we got to America, we met people who could not dance and move at the same time. Ooh. We, 
I ain't doing nothing but talking on this evening. That's all I'm doing. I'm talking real, real good. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Next proverb. Music is the best cure for a sorrowful heart. We know it. You ever had a bad day? You ever had a bad day? You ever had a rough day? And you got in the car and you just turned on your music and it got you right together. You ever came in the house and just turned on your music? You didn't say nothing to nobody. You didn't say nothing to nobody. You just start moving around. You just close your eyes and you just started moving. You started humming right along with the musician. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Because the power of music is to realign what the world has misaligned. I said it. The power of music, the point of music is to realign what the world has misaligned. Talk, Baba. Talk, talk, talk. Next proverb. Poor is the ritual without music. Ooh. See, this is why black people, when we gather, if we gather in the church, come on, somebody, if we gather in the club, y'all talk to me. Wherever we gather, we're going to do music because really what, oh, that thing just hit me. Really what we're doing is, really what we're doing is ritual. That's really what we're doing. We're doing ritual wherever we go. Black people do ritual in the club. I said it. Okay. Can somebody walk with me on that? We do ritual in the club. Black people do ritual in the church. We do ritual on the street corner. And ritual demands melody. I'm talking good. I'm talking good. I'm talking good. I'm talking good. Oh, God Almighty, I'm talking good. Next proverb. Next proverb. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. The music you listen to defines the parameters of your heart. You had better believe it. The music you listen to defines the parameters of your heart. Be careful of the type, the, the excellence of, I'm talking good. Be careful of the substance of the music you pour into your spirit. Because what you pour into your spirit, your spirit will multiply and return unto you. It'll sneak up on you. Whatever you put in your spirit, it will multiply and return itself out of your mouth and out of your character. Come on, somebody. I'm talking good. Am I talking good? Am I talking good, somebody? Ooh, God, a mighty help me. Listen, next one. Music is the wine that fills the cup of silence. Baby, that thing is beautiful. Music is the wine that fills the cup of silence. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That ain't nothing but good. That ain't nothing but good all day. Next one, next one. Music is love. In search of a word. Ooh! What? Music is love in search of a word. My God from Zion. My God from Zion. Oh God, that thing almost took me out. And I and I read it earlier today. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Next proverb. Love is friendship set to music. Isn't that good? Love is friendship set to music. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Wow. My God, my God, y'all. Listen, I'm going to talk a little bit about the power of black music, right? Mm -hmm. Stay with me. Stay with me now. Stay with me. Stay with me. Stay with me. Stay with me. The power of black music is that it speaks what the mouth cannot articulate. It soothes and calms and nurtures the heart in ways that language falls short. Music is the conduit for the shielding of the soul, the means by which Black people eked out a survival in the land of bondage. From the moment we were herded onto slave ships, we began to hum and to play our chains as instrumentation. In other words, what the new world meant for our enslavement became the means of our, of our liberation. In other words, what the new world meant for our enslavement became the means of our liberation. African people create music out of everything we touch. Does somebody hear what I just said to you? We create music out of every thing we touch. Does somebody hear what I just said to you? Does somebody hear what I just said to you? We create music out of everything we touch. Oh my God. Lord, have mercy, have mercy, have mercy, have mercy. We create music out of everything we touch. 
It's true. It is absolutely positively true. We hear the rhythm of the trees and we mimic it. We hear the cadence of the ocean's tide and we recreate it. We hear the crisp song of the wind and we remake it. We hear the dance of the river's flow and we begin to shimmy and shake just like it. Music is the DNA of black existence. We turn everything into a song, life, death, achievements, failures, struggles, setbacks, hopes, desires, dreams, everything for black people becomes a song. There's something about the marriage of word and melody that conjures spirit for African people. I'm talking good to somebody. I'm talking good to somebody. So when we're in the midst of something overwhelming, we create a song. We composed call and response melodies. We composed them while picking cotton beneath a blistering sun. We composed melodies while carrying 200 pound cross ties for Americans railway system. We composed melodies while scrubbing floors we couldn't walk upon. We composed melodies while sitting in solitary confinement for crimes we had not committed. We composed melodies while being sexually assaulted in white folks' kitchens. Only those songs maintained our sanity. Only those songs kept us from killing those who freely desecrated and dishonored us. Only those songs reminded us that we were bigger than our reality. Only those songs reminded us that debasing our bodies didn't debase our souls. Only those songs kept us believing that things would get better when things were not getting better. Huh? Black people believe that every person needs a song, a tune you can conjure when you can't see straight or when your heart is hurting greater than your heart's capacity. Huh? Am I talking good to somebody? Am I talking good to somebody? Did somebody tell me, am I talking good? Uh-huh, 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 uh-huh. Come on, somebody. Our ancestors hummed and sang all day long. Their strength was in their throat. I'm gonna say it again. Their strength was in their throat. They knew that singing inflames the imagination. He, God. What? And that singing allows a person to construct a world that did not yet exist. They knew that they would have died without a song and they didn't intend to die. So <laughs> they sang. Oh my God, Lord have mercy. Somebody listen, somebody's got to come get me. I'm trembling over here. And y'all, we keep on singing. After plantation spirituals, we created gospel quartets and ensembles who took those field dirges and ditties to the level of professional music. The Fist Jubilee singers got us started. Come on, somebody. And then we soared. Then we created quartets like the Five Blind Boys of Alabama. I can't hear nobody. Uh-huh, 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 uh-huh. All kinds of quartets. Uh-huh. Dorothy Love Coats. I, I can't hear nobody. I, oh, God almighty, help me. The Dixie Hummingbirds, huh? The Jubilaires. Then Thomas Dorsey came along and institutionalized gospel music by translating into sheet music and scoring all time famous gospel numbers like Precious Lord, Take My Hand. Thomas Dorsey and Roberta Martin made gospel music accessible to the entire world. And now everybody sings it. I can't hear nobody. Songs like God Specializes. Ooh, huh? I can't hear nobody. Songs like God specializes. Am I talking good? Uh -huh. Songs like, were you there when they crucified my Lord? Do you understand what black people are asking you in that song? Baby, y'all would have to forgive me. Were you, what, what are they asking you? What are they asking you? Are you a witness? Are you a witness to what they did to my savior? Are you a witness to the way they used to beat black people? Were you there when they beat that boy until the sun went down? Yes, Jesus, but not just Jesus. Were you there when they beat Kunta Kinte like that? Were you there when they beat Charles like that? Were you there when they beat Emma Lou like that? Were you there when they beat Henrietta like that? Did you see the way they did us? Did you see how they desecrated our flesh? Did you watch? Were you standing there? Are you a witness? Woo! God, y'all give me a minute. Whew. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. 
mm, 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 mm. and not just gospel, but music of all genres blossomed during the nascent of black existence in the early 20th century. Blues came on the scene, yes, 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 and spoke black trauma and black faith in ways too crude for the church, but no less healing and transformative. Blues artists like Bessie Smith, I can't hear nobody, Ma Rainey, uh-huh, uh-huh, Blind Lemon Jefferson, Charlie Patton, Sun House, you don't know nothing about that, Lead Belly, come on somebody, Robert Johnson, Ethel Waters, they crooned about love and loss and difficulty and winning against the odds. These rugged blues masters stepped onto the music scene with witty sarcasm that fit into a 12 bar structure complete with repetition and chord progressions that forced listeners to hear the heavy hearts of a wounded people. I'm talking, baby, I'm talking good this evening. They wrote songs of syncopation and walking bass notes that made people sway and weep their troubles away. While the blues folks were doing that, jazz artists burst forth with wordless melodies that told the story of a weary but a surviving people. I am walking on this evening. Uh-huh. These jazz artists were folks like Cab Calloway, Duke Ellington, Count Basie, Jelly Roll Morton, Louis Armstrong. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Then when it was time to put words to those melodies, the angels of jazz took the stage and hypnotized the world. We called those angels, uh-huh, Billy Holiday, I can't hear nobody, Ella Fitzgerald, Sarah Vaughn, Dinah Washington, come on, Etta James, I can't hear nobody, I can't hear nobody, and more recently, Liz Wright, uh-huh. In later years, we'd get the incomparable Nina Simone and Nancy Wilson, and Nat King Cole, and Fats Waller, and instrumentalists like Coltrane, and Miles, and Herbie Hancock, and Mary Lou Williams, and Tia Fuller, and Thelonious Monk, and Wynton Marcellus. Am I calling the roll? Am I calling the roll? Huh? Am I calling the roll? Then some years later, a black woman named Rosetta Tharp revolutionized the guitar and birthed a genre called rock and roll. That's right. Uh-huh, she birthed, that's right. We governed that space too, uh-huh. And after her came folks like Chuck Berry and Little Richard and Jimi Hendrix and Tina Turner and Lenny Kravitz and James Brown, huh? They defined what it meant to rock and roll vocally and instrumentally. They were unequaled and unmatched. Listen, James Brown was a legend all by himself. Am I talking good? Babe, I'm talking good to somebody. I'm doing a whole history lesson here. Come on, somebody, stay with me, stay with me, keep your hands lifted. Then the 60s and 70s brought what I call the golden age of black soul music. This includes the likes of Aretha Franklin and Marvin Gaye and Stevie Wonder and Otis Redding and Gladys Knight and the Pips and Sam Cooke and, and Smokey Robinson and Al Green and the Isley Brothers and Patti LaBelle and the Spinners, the Four Tops, the Temptations, Diana Ross and the Supremes, Teddy Pendergrass. Donny Hathaway, the Jackson Five, Earth, Wind, and Fire, Sly and the Family Stone, Parliament, the Commodores, the Staples Singers. Come on, somebody. These angelic ancestral voices sang songs like Midnight Train to Georgia and Sitting on the Dock of the Bay, Watching the Time Roll Away, and Love TKO. Y'all, that love TKO used to kill me. And that's the way of the world. Uh huh. Songs like Between the Sheets. Come on, Isley Brothers. And someday we'll all be together. How about a song for you? Songs like Baby, I Need Your Lovin', huh? Songs like I'll Be Around. Songs like Brick House, huh? Songs like Never Can Say Goodbye. Ooh, and I want to take you higher. While this was pumping in the club, church kids listened to the Clark sisters and Walter Hawkins and James Cleveland and Shirley Caesar and Mahalia Jackson and Clara Ward and the Caravans and the Mighty Clouds of Joy and Andre Crouch and the Thompson Community Singers and Ricky Dillard and James Hall and Kirk Carr. And of course, we birthed hip hop. I can't hear nobody. That social music medium that has been the voice of revolutionary black youth since the 1970s. Uh-huh. You got Grandmaster Flash and Jay-Z and Tupac. Come on, somebody. I'm doing it. And Rakim and Snoop Dogg and Notorious B.I.G. and LL Cool J and Lil Wayne and Missy Elliott and Queen Latifah and Run DMC and Wu-Tang. 
Klan and Public Enemy and NWA and Salt and Pepper and KRS One and Outcast and Megan the Stallion. Come on, and Future. Come on, and Nas and Ludacris and Lauren Hill and Kendrick Lamar and the Sugar Hill Gang and Dougie Fresh and Africa Bombada and Roxanne Shante and Two Live Crew and Drake and Nicki Minaj and Dr. Dre and 50 Cent and Cardi B and DMX and Andre 3000 and Chase the Rap Chance the Rapper and 21 Savage and Lil Baby and Ice Cube and Kanye. Come on, come on, better known as Ye. They gave the world classics like it's a jungle sometimes. It makes me wonder how I keep from going under. And my mind's playing tricks on me. Who remembers that? Yes, sub. Yes, ma'am. My mind's playing tricks on me. And songs like Fight the Power and New York State of Mind. Songs like Planet Rock and Push It and Protect Your Neck and Roxanne, Roxanne. Songs like Dear Mama and I Used to Love Her and Keep Your Head Up. Uh-huh. And Dead Presidents and The Breaks. Come ooh, baby, I'm talking good to somebody. And Miss Jackson, Walk This Way and To Pimp a Butterfly. Mm -mm. Come on, somebody. I'm calling the road. I'm calling the road. I'm calling the road. Listen, there's no such thing as black people, black community without concurrent musical representation. We are the melody of the world, the cadence, the rhythm of humanity, the tempo, the modulation of the planet. Our music tells the narrative of the earth's spinning. It records the evolution of the spirit of a god. Black people walk in music. We talk in music. We laugh with a pulsating beat. We carry our dead with a two-step march before we lower them into the grave. We define ourselves in movement. We think in patterns of tempoed ideas. Music is the cadence of our blood flow. When you think you might want to quit, get you a song and stay in the battle. When life overwhelms you, close your eyes and hum a little bit and know that nothing is too hard for you to handle. When you lose people you adore, hold them in your heart and surround them with a song. Ooh, God, so listen, but whatsoever you do, don't you find yourself in this place without a song. Whatsoever you do, don't you find yourself in this place without a song. Have a song in your spirit at all times. Anything you can just call up. My grandmother used to sit around and she'd just sing, just like a tree that's planted by the water. I never understood it. I never understood it. What was significant about a tree by the rivers of water? <laughs> Why was she singing about a tree by the rivers of water? There were trees everywhere. Trees were everywhere. What was so significant about a tree by the rivers of water? Hey, by, hey, listen. And then when I got older, I figured it out. A tree by the rivers of water has to go far deeper than other trees because the river is constantly washing away the top soil. So a tree by the rivers of water has roots twice as deep as any other tree. Ooh, God Almighty, you got to have a song and you got to sing it and you got to know how to pull it up and you got to know when to pull it up. I can't hear you. Ooh, God Almighty. Mama Clara, Mama Clara, am I talking good? Listen, I'm trying to save us, huh? Huh? Come on, somebody. Have you a song constantly? Be clear, be clear, be clear. Know how to get you a melody and for it to get you together real quick. That's what, that's what you have to be able to do if you're going to live. Sometimes when I get in a tough spot, I just say, pass me not, oh gentle savior. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's right. Yay! God almighty, help me, oh God. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. Whatever whatever your song might be, keep it, keep it on redial in your head all the time. Don't ever close it out. Don't ever close it out. Don't ever close it out. Uh-huh. Don't ever close it out. You got to understand. You have to understand that it's your lifeblood. Music is your life force. And every culture does music. I'm just talking about black music tonight, but every culture does music. Every culture on the planet Earth does music and has a musical tradition. 
I'm just saying, and I'm just talking about the black one. And why am I talking about the black one? Because that's just the one I know. But I'm talking about it for another reason, too. I'm really talking about it because if people really let the black music tradition do what it came here to do, it would save every soul. Ife Tayo Teshi Olomoroti. Black music won't just save black people. Black music will save white people. Black music will save the Native American. Black music will save the age. Black music will save this entire planet. Because what the music really seeks to do is to teach the entire world that not only are you human, but you're actually more spirit than you are human. And if you ever figure that out, you'll stop fighting over frivolous material things. Somebody tell me there's a group that used to talk about for the love of money, what people do for the love of money, what you'll do, who you'll sell out, that you'll sell out your very mama for the love of money if you ain't careful. And the whole point of music is to get you back to the clarity that there's nothing greater than your spirit. There's nothing. There is nothing greater than your spirit. Music has really come to tell us that if we would grab each other's hand in America, we can forgive the foolishness that's already happened. That's right. We can really heal racism. The music will do it. The music will do it because the music is in front of the people. History is behind us. The, mu the music is in front of us. The music is telling us to grab a hand. Oh, my God. Listen, Quincy Jones and others created a song called We Are the World. We are the world. What was the song trying to tell you? That if we'll grab hands and hold hands, all of us have flaws, all of us have troubles, but we're all part of the healing mechanism. We're all part of the healing machine. And if we can simply admit the truth and say, forgive me, I'm sorry, we can wake up to a new sun in the morning. Maybe I said something. I said something right there. Did I say something? Ooh, we. I said something right there. I really did. I really did. I really, really, really did. Listen, you've got to understand. Keep you a melody in your heart. Keep you a melody in your soul. Every human being, keep you. And listen to God's melody. Uh -huh. The birds sing God's melody. The wind blows God's melody. The ocean's tide literally, literally, literally sings back up for an ancient God. I can't hear nobody. When the elephants move in the forest, they're giving us the bass down beat. I can't hear nobody. When the gazelles leap, they're giving us the 16th notes. I, I can't, in other words, the whole creation, everything in creation has a rhythm. I'm talking good. Everything in creation has a rhythm. Everything in creation has a time in its movement. Everything moves in a time. It moves in a particular time measure and a time construct. And if you put those together, you have what black people call polyrhythm. Hey, 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 hey. And what's polyrhythm? When multiple rhythms are going on at the same time and they're creating they literally creating a structure that gives life and breathes life into the human who's trying to be. Keep your song. Black people, thank you for melody. I'll see y'all next week. Love y'all.